Today I want to talk about a young Malawian girl called Zahira. She's six years old. Let's take a little look at what the future is likely to hold for Zahira. There's a less than 50% chance that she'll finish primary school. There's the same chance that she'll be married before the age of 18. She's likely to live until the age of just 55 and have at least five or six children. What can be done to improve her future? How can we transform her future? The single most important way that we can, that we can transform her future is by giving her the education that she deserves. This is the challenge. This is Zahira's classroom. She's in standard two and there are over 100 other children in her class. Her school day is barely three hours long. There are millions of young Malawians in classrooms just like this one. This is Catherine, Zahira's teacher. She does the best job possible with the resources available to her, but it's hard. I've met many, many teachers just like Catherine. She needs help. But where do we start? We start at the beginning with the fundamentals. Numeracy and literacy. If Zahira has these key skills, these fundamental skills, she has a much greater chance of staying in school, a much greater chance of building on those skills, and a much greater chance of making something of her future. How can it be done? How is it possible to equip Zahira with these fundamental skills? We are now at a point in human history where using technology to transform education is not only viable, it's already happening. And it's happening right here in Lilongwe. But this isn't really about the tablet you see Zahira using here, or the one I have in my hand. Tablets, they're an enabling technology. They're a means of delivering content that can transform the way young children can learn. It is the software on these tablets that, can, that is the true agent of change. My name is Jamie. I am co-founder of a non-profit organization called One Billion. We've been in Malawi for seven years, working with the ministry, listening, watching, and most important of all, learning. This is what we do. We develop apps that succeed in transforming the education of our youngest learners. Apps, you say? Thousands of apps. How are yours different? What makes them unique? I'll tell you. First of all, they offer a comprehensive course. They follow the entire curriculum for standard one and two children. They aren't just practice. They work on their own without a teacher needed to support the child. There's no need to, to look over the shoulder at a child using a tablet. They are not a resource for the teacher. They are the teacher. All of the teaching that the children receive through these tablets is in their own language. So here, the children are learning in Chichewa. There's no need for the child to be literate or to know English. At every step of the way, there is praise and reward for the child. This is something, sadly, that doesn't happen in most classroom settings. Finally, using these devices, there's no learning curve. Zahira picked up how to use our Masamu Maths apps in under a minute, and she'd never ever seen one of these things before. But the biggest difference is this. It really works. It really does work. I mean that our apps can transform the way that young people like Zahira learn these fundamental skills of literacy and numeracy. But don't take my word for it. Take the word of Dr. Nicola Pitchford, professor of psychology at the University of Nottingham in the UK. Last year, she conducted a randomized control trial of 400 children at Biwi School in the long way. Here's what she found. After just eight weeks, children tripled their specific maths curriculum knowledge. Put another way, kids who are using these tablets for under 30 minutes a day were progressing 18 months in just eight weeks. 
effectively jumping from standard two to standard four in their maths ability in less than a term. Her research is currently being peer reviewed. These learning outcomes are astonishing. Not a little bit better, but transformationally better. This isn't down to the tablet. This is down to the software being focused entirely on the needs of the individual child. So, how can we give every Malawian child the opportunity of learning this way? Surely it's impossible. Tablets are expensive. Don't they break down? When they get stolen, how will we charge them? Teachers, they'll need to be trained. How will we know that it is really working? See, we didn't just stop when we developed the software. Instead, over the past two years, we've been working with the Ministry of Education and with VSO on the ground to develop a solution that we feel can answer most of these questions. We call it One Class. One Class is a dedicated classroom where groups of children spend sessions learning through our apps. It's totally powered by renewable solar energy. Some of you may know that 95% of Malawian primary schools don't have access to grid electricity. So all of the tablets being used inside the One Class are powered by solar power. Their progress can be monitored remotely over the internet. We can identify both high and low achieving children and feed this information directly back to their teachers. This is working right now down the road from here at Nguenya Primary School, a school of 9,000 young children. This is one class. to help us give Zahira the future that she deserves. Thank you.